Up at four today, the company named Jim Farley, chief operating officer, as it aims to speed up its turnaround. Business editor Rod Maloney has a look as, at why the move was made. That they decided to make this kind of executive shuffle now tells you there's major trouble here at the Glass House. As they try and create the Ford of the future, they're running into competitive issues. They have the domestic three, GM and Chrysler, and even Toyota to worry about, but then there's also Tesla. If you're looking to find out what's at the heart of this move, look no farther than the new Ford Explorer SUV rolled out this time last year. The launch was an unmitigated disaster, and that cannot happen in this competitive environment in the middle of a corporate turnaround that's now three years old. Joe Henrik's expertise is in manufacturing, and for this to happen on his watch ended his 19-year Ford career. Michelle Krebs is an auto trader, auto analyst. Well, and Joe is really beloved by so many people. So now 57-year-old Jim Farley takes over as chief operating officer. He's been with Ford for 13 years now. He's a former Toyota rising star who was most recently working on the autonomous and electric vehicle program at the heart of CEO Jim Hackett's overhaul of Ford. We have Jim Hackett, who's kind of redesigning the structure of the company, and so they've created the COO position. I see it as that's the next step will, will be for Jim Farley to replace Jim Hackett as CEO when the time comes for Mr. Hackett to leave. Auto analyst John McElroy believes this sets the stage for Jim Hackett's departure sooner rather than later. He turned 65 years old on April 22nd. Ford has a policy of having its top executives retire at that age unless the board invites them to stay on. I don't think he's going to get that invite. Of course, we all know that the auto business is bare knuckle, the competition very tough. And if this turnaround doesn't move along much more quickly and the money doesn't start churning a little bit faster into the profit margin, well, you can expect still more wrenching change. In Dearborn, Rod Maloney, Local 4.